So welcome to the second day of KVM Forum. And I'm going to be talking about QMU today. Um, mostly just some of our highlights from the past year and how we're doing as a community. Um, everything I'm talking about is from about KVM Forum you know, last year, which is about a year ago. <clears throat> so to start with, um, just some of our kind of high level stats. We've actually had uh, four releases in the past year. Um, 013 was kind of delayed, so it hadn't gone out yet by KVM Forum last year, even though it was supposed to. Um, but 14 and 15, I think we, we did much better with that. So, um, and 15 just got released. Um, 15 is the last release for the Zero series. Our next release will be 1.0. So next year we, sh we should have a big, uh, big accomplishment to celebrate there. Um, one of the things that just absolutely amazes me, um, and it's amazed me for a number of years, is just the sheer amount of stuff that we're doing. So in this past year, just from this time last year, we've added, and this is added, this, this, is, uh, this is the combination of added and removed, you know, this is the difference, you know, 100,000 lines of code to QMU. That, that's a huge amount of code, and that largely comes from the people in this room, and that's a, a massive accomplishment. And one of the things that still you know, blows my mind is today, we're at about um, 700,000 lines of code. At the rate that we're growing and at the rate things are changing, by this time next year, we'll probably hit a million lines of code. And I, I think that's a really significant statistic because I think you know, that puts us into a, a rather small group of open source projects that can claim this size you know, and this large of a community. Some of our highlights, and, and this is always a, a really hard slide to write because there's so much that gets done and it's, you know, probably the hardest thing is sitting down and deciding, you know, what not to talk about. So these are just some of the things. This, this is not everything by far. Uh, the QMU KVM merge, I mean, this has been something that we've talked about since, I mean, this was probably one of the first conversations we had after Avi posted the patches is how do we merge into QMU. And, and finally, largely based on some of the work that Jan's been doing, we're actually making really, really good progress. And I have every bit of confidence but that by the end of this year, um, by the next release, we'll be completely merged into QMU.Git, and QMU-KVM will just be a staging tree. I don't know who came up with the pimped up threading model. It hit LWN, and I think it's wonderful. So whoever did it, thank you. <laughs> um, the other area, and this is another huge accomplishment, is Spice. Um, so Spice has a long history, um, obviously coming from Kubernetes, and I think the thing that's the most remarkable about Spice is that it, it went from something where, you know, there was a lot of uncertainty about, you know, how it would get merged and whether it would be merged because it was a really large code base, and I actually think it's probably one of the, the best maintained subsystems in QMU now. Um, Gerd Hoffman and a whole lot of other folks have just done a tremendous god job getting that merged. Um, there, there's a whole lot of other things, but you know, you'll hear about most of this through the talk, or through the sets of talks today and yesterday. So one of the things I wanted to do in this talk is kind of do a, uh, you know, a, a, a summary of what our community actually looks like. So who's doing what? How much are we changing? Um, this is commits. So I, I think there's a couple interesting things to see here. One, we've actually got a pretty good set of sub-maintainers now. The, 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 and this is a big change from last year. So we've got quite a few people who are actually now participating in the process. This is just the top 10. We have about 20 to 30 people that are actually acting as maintainers in QME today. And I think it's made all the difference in the world. I think we are a much healthier, healthier community from it. Um, one of the things that I do like about this slide is that you'll see a lot of different companies and a lot of different, and, and actually a lot of individuals represented in these stats. Um, and again, I think this is indicative of the health of our community. You know, we're not just a community of a couple companies, but we really are a community that's, that's diverse and comes from a lot of places. And we'll talk more about some of the commit stats stuff in a, in a few slides. These are the authors. So th these are the top authors. And um, amazingly enough, I, I think this is one of the big changes, is the top of the list is Peter from Lenaro. So Lenaro didn't exist you know, a year ago. 
and, or maybe it was a little longer than a year ago, but they've really kind of come in and done a lot of really great things in QMU. Um, so I think that's, that's quite impressive. And then this is the top five companies. So, so this is always an interesting stat. And the actual breakdown of companies, I think, is, is probably less interesting. I think the thing that's interesting is if you combine the numbers here, it's still around 50%. So historically, QMU has been about 50% um, corporate contributions and then 50% you know, non-affiliated or people just working in their free time. And we're still roughly that percentage. And I think it's one of the things that makes us really strong as a community. Because you know, we've got the good, strong um, kind of corporate development that helps us keep, keeps us stable and gives us releases. But then we still have a strong community influence. So this is a graph. Um, I'm notoriously bad about anything visual, so I apologize that it's, it might be a little hard to understand. But this is a combination of you know, companies, authors, and committers. And I think that the general thing to see is the shape of the curve. I mean, we are growing as a community. Um, you know, more people are contributing year, quarter to quarter for the most part. More companies are getting involved. We have more committers. We are growing and, and we are vibrant as a community. And, and so this is, this is where um, I think this, this is where things get a little interesting. So as any community, I think our question has to be, how do we grow as a community? How do we make the process even better? And while I actually think that we do have a pretty good process today, it, it certainly can get better. So the thing I got to thinking is, do we have enough sub-maintainers? Do we have, are, are the committers doing enough commits? And as we get to be a million lines of code, as we get into that small group of projects that are really, really large, I think the best way to do it is to look at other projects, see how they're structured, and see how we can improve. So you'll see that for the most part, you know, we've got, we've got a nice long tail <clears throat> in terms of committers. Um, our, our top committers are doing somewhere around 500 commits a year. And I think the thing that's important is to, to realize is that there's only so much code a normal human being, there are some abnormal human beings, but there, a normal human being can only uh, review so much code. And uh, th this is where things get interesting, is looking at Linux. So there's a few people involved uh, in Linux, kernel maintainers, that just commit tons of code, and there's reasons for it, like Linus commits all of Andrew Morton's patches. But for the most part, you can see over here that you know, the peak of kernel contributors, of, of committers, is somewhere around 500 patches a year. Um, so, so the key takeaway here is that we grow our community not by any maintainers committing more patches than they are today but by adding maintainers. And, and that's really what the takeaway of, of these slides was meant to be. Um, so that's the thing I think we need to look towards over the next year is, is getting more people involved in the, in the maintainership process, because I think that's how we're going to grow the community. Um, and th that's it. That's, uh, that's my spiel. That, that's um, where I think we're going. Um, so with that, any questions?